Wow. Thank you all for being here. And thank you, other uh, speakers. It's been really great hearing all of you. And I'm really excited to share my work with you. But before getting to the exciting discovery, I want to start with the fundamentals. Synapses. Synapses are the connections between neurons that allow them to communicate. So if you had to guess, who has more synapses, you or your past two-year-old self, who would you guess? Surprisingly, or maybe not surprisingly, uh, your past two-year-old self had about 50% more synapses. That is hundreds of trillions more synapses. This loss of synapses during development is a totally normal process. In fact, it's necessary to form specialized neural circuits. So scientists have likened this loss of synapses to pruning flowers in a garden. So you're born with a wild, overgrown garden, but through development, those flowers or those synapses are pruned back to create a walkable path. In the neurodevelopmental disorders, though, scientists have seen both too much and too little pruning. So some gardens remain overgrown and others barren. In my work, I want to understand why these gardens are not properly kept. And to do this, I study the brain's gardener, the microglia. Now, when we garden, we know which flowers to prune because we can see them yellowing and we know to snip. But for microglia, I like to think about them in this black and white scene. So it's not so obvious how they know which synapses to prune. And my hypothesis is that in neurodevelopmental disorders, microglia are struggling to find the right synapses. To test this, I use gene editing tools to mutate genes associated with neurodevelopmental disorders in microglia. I grow these microglia with neurons and I measure how many synapses they prune. And I did this for a lot of genes and I found a subset of genes changed pruning. And the exciting part is most of these genes fell in one signaling pathway. In other words, I found a signal that microglia use to find synapses. And I showed that neurodevelopmental disorders can hijack this process. Since finding the signal, I've shown that drugs targeting it can increase and decrease pruning. So in future work, I'm excited to see how these drugs act in the context of neurodevelopmental disorders to hopefully promote proper pruning. Thank you.